Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nefo29, and here's what's in our backpack. We are underweight. Uh, it's all good in there. We need another set of bandages. Clothing, it's, it could be better. We got cattails for food. We got some water. Um, everything in there is good. And there we go. I just want to actually check. Okay, those do have fuel. Uh, we are day 31, and here's our skills. Some of them are moving up. And it is early morning. We are in... What is this? Bunker Beta, I guess? I don't actually remember the name of it. So let's just start... Oh, look at that. Look at that. How much is in you? This has been here a while. 238. Let's turn you like that. Um, we'll pick up that. We'll look in here. And time to go in. If we can hit the right hitbox. Got some cloth. Oh, we got more boots. I think I can use this. Seems like only yesterday we were running around barefoot. Now we got two sets of coach's boots. Uh, you're wool, are you? You're, there, no, there's no chance you're even close to being better. No chance. We'll take that clock. You know what? Here, let's shut that. Before I forget, I'm going to make bandages. first, I guess. Got some cardboard matches. Got a book. Uh, as usual, I'll be taking down these curtains. I'll go through the containers first. Oh, more matches. That one... There it is. Got a... Funky hitbox. Uh, don't need either of those. But I guess we might need to kill some time, so... If we do, we will break them down. We got another <laughs> knife. Uh, we can't stand up. Is there anything down there? No. Take... All the food. There's can opener. Don't care about it. Oh, yes. I do like that. Take that. Drop any of Take this gear. coffee. More corn. A ham. It's kind of tricky. Take the book. Okay, I got that. Oh, what? We'll get a bandage. Oh, no, maybe not. Good. I didn't want one. Okay, we got those. We got all these. We got you. Is there anything that we can see behind there? No, there isn't. We've been... Going here. I got some wool socks. I don't really care about those. A little bit more water. Okay, that's the exit, so we gotta go this way. Another heavy hammer. I could use this. Another fuse. Transcript number 12. And a battery. Let's move this over here. Let's make sure there's nothing that I'm missing. Alright, let's read this.
Session 12, Project Medical Officer interviewing Patient 7. Back to the third instance. Find the bridge between them. Trying to. <laughs> okay. It starts the same as every other time. A dark room. Square. I feel the wall behind me, and I can barely make out the walls to the right and left. It's smooth, like steel or glass. I can't see the wall opposite me. It's too dim. I walk forward, and that's when I notice it. Every time. The pit. Just a, a hole in the floor. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. The floor seems to slope a little bit as it reaches the edge. But the floor is made of bricks. Bricks that start to bend. Best I can tell. And the end? The last image you can remember? That's when it shows up. What shows up? Can you describe it? <laughs> From across the pit, where the other wall should be, something darker than everything around it, sort of floating. It moves to the edge of the hole. No face, just a moving shape. <laughs> a shadow. Is it me? My face? God damn it. Man, that's when I wake up. Every damn time. Alright. There we go. Get the light going. Just another little quick double check here. Get you right there. Um... You know what, maybe we'll drop this excess clothing, uh, not the boots. We will keep those boots and bring them somewhere where they're available to us shall we need them. Alright, here's the other one. Save the fuel, I guess. We ran power to Rudiger's machine for the first time yesterday. It was nothing like what they predicted, even at half energy. I still have no idea what the end game for all of this will be. The whole project. And I'm seeing now that few of the men building it do either. It's all over their faces. All this time underground isn't helping their morale, but I'm confident our fragile truce will hold until we're finished. We worked hard to make it this far after what happened to Team 3. But afterwards? Impossible to say. Alright. Completed the objective for searching Bunker Beta. So we got Mountain Town and we got Forlorn. I think Mountain Town is the place we should be going. Uh, I just really want to make sure I'm not missing anything. What's the time of day? It's early. All right, let's take these curtains. Get ourselves a little bit more cloth. And now we have a good view. Okay, we need to eat and drink. I'm just gonna move you to the front. You know, I might actually take this. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Now, what can we eat? We, well, we need to drink. And let's eat this. And I guess we'll just drink. All right, we definitely want the jerry can. Uh, as far as this goes, I don't know. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I want to fill you up with the, the little jugs. 
Let's have a look. Yeah. All right, let's go. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Oh no. Is it this way or is it the other way? <laughs> I think it's this way. So what's coming out? That's coming out. May as well reload it. Those are just regular crows. Alright, so I think Mountain Town's our next destination. And obviously HRV after Mountain Town. We'll do, I think we'll do a search of Mountain Town first. We got 20 cattails. May as well grab some more. We'll do a search of Mountain Town first and then we'll get to repairing the tower. Uh, and then we'll head to HRV, grab the bunker and hmm i guess the moose bag and all that oh no wait yeah no that's ash no sorry i'm having a moment <laughs> uh just to let you in on what i dealt with this morning I had my, my new PC, I had everything set up, ready to go, right? Finally got my OBS working. Although, I noticed alerts were coming through yesterday uh, on this PC. There was two different types of alerts coming through, overlapping. So, this one used to be all good until I got the new PC and started going through everything on there. And now it's affected this one. Which is frustrating enough. Um, anyways. I always back up my saves for the long dark in case of, you know, you get stuck in the terrain or something or... Because I'm making a video, I, I back up the saves so that if, like, a power glitch or something happens, um, I can actually just reload the save and start that stream from there again. So that uh, the video for YouTube will pick up where it left off the previous day. And I'm not very computer savvy. So I just took a screenshot of the, the, the path to the saves. So I tried to open the, the screenshot for the saves, the, the save path. Oh, we got some deer. And I got a notification that OneDrive doesn't have enough space. And I was confused because I'm a Mac guy. I'm not a I'm not a Windows guy. I was wondering like what's OneDrive got to do with anything? I mean this is on my PC, isn't it? It's right there, it's on my desktop. And I used an external hard drive to transfer all of my files that I needed. I didn't use OneDrive. It's not turned on on my, uh, on, on, well, I guess on this PC. Apparently it was turned on on the new one. So I thought, well, I don't know why it doesn't have enough space. So I go online and I go into OneDrive there and I thought, I'm just going to delete it all. I don't need it in there. I didn't use it. I don't use it. 
And there's where we're going actually. So I deleted it. I went to the recycle bin in the OneDrive. I deleted that as well. Closed that window and noticed that my page, my, my, my desktop was almost naked. Everything was gone. So I tried to open the OBS on the new PC and it said it was missing a whole bunch of files. And I, oh my God. So I get to do all that again from scratch. I am just overjoyed. So my brain right now is filled with all kinds of information swirling around. So I'm going to be kind of yeah. I'm going to be lucky if this run doesn't die today because not focused I'm I'm let's be honest I'm fairly angry that a program I don't use could I'm not sure I can carry much more cause me so much problems we're gonna leave that right there um do I have another one of these in here I don't know that I do Let's put you there. Those are revolver. I know we have some more on us, I, or at least I thought we had some more on us. We'll do that. Um, you got to go to the camp office at some point. There is no law that says I have to take you there right now. So I'm just going to do that. We have two books. I'm going to leave. Now I have more matches. I can leave matches here. Um, I honestly don't really understand why I'm doing this either. Um, let's take one of you. Uh, we're... I might leave these here. You know what? I might cook those all up here. We got a six burner. We have a bunch of pots. We have tablets to get even more water. Um, oh, that's why. Let's do that. Uh, okay, tools do not go in there, but y'all can go in there. And we'll take that. And we got that. We got three. We got two. We just need some scrap metal. Um, let's put those two in there and we'll take a new one of each. I think that's the way to go. And we have one piece of scrap metal. We have 13 cloth. Let's, let's take nine. I don't know why I'm taking nine, but I'm taking nine. Uh, let's go over here. We got water. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. All right, that's actually a good thing because, oh, okay, let's go with that. That's a good thing. We have all that water because now I don't have to actually boil water. I get all these these teas cooked up to help out our. Uh, Cooking skill. Um, let's move you there and let's put you there because you will work for this. Let's go like that. Uh, I think I want to drop all these canned goods. 
I'll leave these here. Alright, peaches. You go there. Your corn. You need to move. Because I don't believe I have corn already here. So you can go there. And ham, you can go right here. Take all that. And how many of these mushrooms do we have? I guess I'll... Oh, that's it, I guess. That is it. Uh, we need... All right, we need herbal tea and we need some coffee. So let's make some coffee. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Wow, we got a lot cooked. <laughs> For not really actually, I think that was purely just on the book itself. Wow. So yeah. Alright, now we want some tea. We'll do that. And we have three coffees. Well, we have one more tea left, so let's just cook it. And then we have these. Let's take you guys. And we have four, so let's just go with one, two, three, four. So that's 24 minutes. We just need that to melt. That'll do. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Alright, I definitely want to take two of these. I'm going to stand here because we're just going to do this. Okay, now we got to do this. Can I cook in real life? Absolutely not. Unless you count grilled cheese sandwiches and wieners and beans as cooking. I, I don't have the patience uh, for cooking in real life. Um, my biggest problem... Oh, I don't want to eat you. Do I? I don't have deer out here, do I? No, I don't. I probably don't. I might have. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember my brain is fried. I don't, but we have some over at the community center. So I will save that. I will drink. My biggest problem with cooking is my mind tells me that if I turn the heat higher, it'll cook faster. <laughs> and anybody that can cook will tell you that that is not the way to do things. Um, I'm a, yeah, I'm horrible. And even when I eat, I don't eat properly. Like in the sense, like if I have, if I have like hamburgers or something like that, um, I will eat just hamburgers. Uh, if, uh, if my wife is here, she'll obviously cook properly. But uh, when she's not here... Oh, I need to drop you. Oh, that's right. I didn't drop any of those. Uh, when she's not here, and I'm, I have to fend for myself, I will cook, like, just hamburgers. And nothing else. And then, you know, if it's hot dogs or something like that, it'll be, like, just hot dogs and nothing else. And... That's not the way to do things. You're supposed to have some kind of vegetables and such. Um, 
I end up munching on baby carrots and peas because I, I, I like vegetables that are raw. So when I'm sitting there watching TV after supper, I just sit there with a bowl of baby carrots and some peas and munch on those. But yeah, when it comes to cooking, I'm no... It's, it's fun to cook. You might surprise yourself. <laughs> uh, I don't think I would, actually. <laughs> Baby carrots are so amazing. I love them. They're like way better than big carrots. This pack is getting kind of heavy. And peas, raw peas. Oh boy, yeah. All crispy, still in the shell. That's the way to go. So we're going to go to the community hall, hopefully get some meat. Um, I'm going to work my way to the road, I think. I don't trust this weather. I'm going to take some sticks as well. Yeah, I don't know could turn into a blizzard. So we'll go to the community hall. We'll hopefully grab some meat. And from there, we'll head. Oh, man. I think I want to go Timberwolf Mountain, honestly. I think Timberwolf Mountain and Ash Canyon. Hey. Are a smarter plan than Mountain Town. I mean, we got to get at least the backpack, right? And plus we can get all those. Oh, and I didn't drop those boots, did I? I didn't. Oh well. I guess they're gonna get dropped off at the uh, at our other outpost. We don't care for cooked vegetables unless it's greens or cabbage. Yeah, I just I, I like uncooked vegetables. Check you. I'll take it. Got another soda. think should we go to Timberwolf Mountain or should we go to Mountain Town if we go to Mountain Town it's it's primarily to continue the signal void but if we go to Timberwolf Mountain we can uh, search all of those containers we can then go, I would, I would say after searching the containers, I would go to Ash Canyon and work on getting the, the backpack. And then when we come back into Timberwolf Mountain, uh, then we would 
go to the summit. Do the option that keeps you alive longer. <laughs> That's questionable as to which one of those options would do that. I guess, uh, oh man. You know what? I think we can run a little bit. I... Uh, if there's feathers, I might. Yeah, what the hell? You know what? They don't weigh anything, and I would much rather have too many feathers than not enough feathers. hearing something over there and it didn't sound like a wolf I mean I don't think it's a bear but strangely it kind of sounded bear-ish Maybe I was hearing some other kind of sound and I just don't realize. Um, all right, we'll go in. I do think there's a bunch of deer meat outside. Or at least a little bit. Yeah, right there. Sure, I can carry much more. All right. Uh, do I have any clothing that I've placed down here? Not really. But we'll drop. Those are 26. I don't know. It's questionable whether I should repair them. I mean, okay. This cannot stay like that. These gotta be. At least somewhat straight. All right, uh, let's eat some of this. Uh, we don't have a book. Actually, we drink that and we can get rid of it. We can fill our belly and, well, I guess our liquid part of our belly, whatever you want to call that part. And, oh, nice. I got books. Uh, we're at 40. I guess we can do that. All right, we got one hacksaw, one hatchet, one knife, one pry bar. That is good. And I guess let's just throw these in here. Um, oh man, these are unfortunately, they're all red. I don't think we can go. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh man, I don't think we should do this. I heard you from the future. Why was those bugging you? Was it the water you were meaning? Oh man, this is not a good idea.
I wish these cabins would have been open. Like, at some point, you know? Give them a 50 50 chance. Alright, nothing in there. I mean, if we're going to Timberwolf Mountain, I would. Uh, hello. This stuff will come in handy. I would actually rather leave from the farmhouse. Uh, I'll tell you my stupid deciding factor. Uh oh. Uh, the deciding factor for me. Okay, <laughs> I had to do that. The deciding factor on where to, whether I go to Timberwolf Mountain or Mountain Town is if I go to Mountain Town, I would have to go back to the farmhouse. And grab the flask because I wouldn't want to leave it there. I would like to take it the first time I go back. But Right now, I'm in a situation where if I go to Timberwolf Mountain, I know the route in poor visibility way better going from the farmhouse. So, I'm kind of in a, a never ending loop of where I know where I'm going. I, I prefer to not be going this way. I guess we can cut through uh, the point of disagreement. I don't believe we went through there yet. Uh, yeah, and I also... <laughs> When I, when I filled my belly, I was thinking, you know what, you should grab a couple more pieces of meat from outside, and then I didn't do it. That wolf is still fair ways back. We just hope that we don't encounter the bear. Deer might help us out. Might. Raid! Deer! Raid! 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 Yes, raid! Hey, Nuka. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Hey, Blaze. How you doing? I don't, uh, I don't have any of my mods here yet. So I can't, I can't give you a shout out because I don't know how. <laughs> as, as terrible as that sounds. Everybody go watch Nuka. Nuka's a great streamer and a great long dark player. The stream is going all right. I've made some questionable decisions. And uh, now I'm kind of hoping I can get that wolf to go after this deer. It would be perfect. There we go. You're done. Go get him, boy. Come on, you need to have a little more ambition than that. Whatever. You, I, I'm done with you. <laughs> or am I? I thought I was done with you, see?
There's a deer like right right there That's not gonna work. I think he already seen me Well good news is it cleared up Liz got a day off chilling. Hope I'm fine. I, uh, well, <laughs> I'm not fine. Windows is defeating me on setting up my new PC. And Windows is determined to make sure I don't stream with that PC ever. I won't go into details because I already explained it earlier, but yeah. He wants human meat. I'm not even wearing the sausage pants. We don't have any. I just have crappy jeans. Let's do that. You know, if he was as determined with that deer as he is with me, he would have been eating good right about now. I really don't like going this way. But I guess it's good with the bears all working now. I mean, I gotta get accustomed to the this bear and where he goes. Is that another wolf way out there? I think it is. he's given up or maybe he hit a wall I don't know oh no I didn't want to see you He's coming this way. I gotta hurry. That guy can turn green at any moment. I don't know. Maybe there's an Aurora tonight. Maybe there's not. I better keep that out. this way I don't know that I can actually get up this oh we can with that terrain I have no idea how we can but we did and this is where Glastrid breaks the wrist so we'll put that away snuggle the bear we can go warm up we better hurry hey mr. coach welcome in how are you doing today
Can you do me a favor? Give Nuka a shout out, please. Please. Thank you. Thanks, coach. exactly where I want to be. <laughs> That's your official command, coach. No fishing. warming up inside all right stems in the piano I'm trying to read what you wrote there, Cherry. What are you talking about? There's a game, Massimata, where you have to use weird map triangulation skills to the plants. You make medicine to cure a sickness. And there's a weird lion monster stalking you the whole time. That's a video game? <laughs> one knife always gets the backwoods bear bury the backwoods bear it's so cold i just want to lay down for a bit well it looks like we're sleeping in the bunker this wind block because we're gaining temperature if we could continue to gain temperature that would be nice but we're not climbing out of here today no chance and it's nighttime Destination, but that's for the morning. I just want to run. Let me run. I don't think when I was here last time, I don't think I grabbed the wood and checked the bag by the, the outhouse. 
or the shed, whatever it is. No, oh, maybe I did. Oh yeah, it's an outhouse. So it's a relatively large outhouse. Oh, oh, I can't run around the corner. We've already been in here, so we're just here to sleep. Uh, where can you go down? Uh, I hate this bunker for this reason. The floor is just so loaded with garbage at finding a spot, and I don't. Mm, you know what? Let's. Break this piece. Get rid of that. That should make a spot for our bedroll. There we go. And we'll go over here and drop that tinder because no point carrying it. All right. Uh, I think we'll just go to bed. Oh, I didn't finish that soda. I didn't realize. We'll just go to bed. There's nothing else we can do in here anyway, so. We don't have our, our, our full sleep, so. There we go. Eat that. And let's go. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I'm actually surprised it's morning already, like... Kind of... Oh, damn it. I didn't realize I was too encumbered. I totally wasn't even paying attention to that. Um... 38. Well... Sticks is one thing. 36. Oh, I didn't realize. I wasn't paying attention. I grabbed another one of those. And... Oh. Drop that. Oh, fool. I didn't mean to bring all these with me. Oh, damn. Okay, let's go inside and warm up now that we're half frozen again. Yeah, I just meant to make those teas. I didn't mean to bring them. I kind of meant to leave them behind. Close enough. Let's go. Now I got a bunch of tea out in the middle of nowhere. Whereas I could have lined those all up nicely at the, uh, the farmhouse. sticks uh, 
I'm not gonna go out of my way to get them, but I'll take the ones that are relatively close to our path. With moose turned on high, that we might have the moose when we enter. Might. I actually prefer the other one. I think the other one's safer. So long, Pleasant Valley. Hello, Timberwolf Mountain. Hey, OG, welcome in. How are you doing? You just woke up. Nice. Oh. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Shut up, Astrid. These are sticks and it's a cluster of sticks. We need these sticks. I think I hear one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, we got a moose. I bet I could climb up that tree if I can sneak over there. I just don't trust him because this is the only one that's ever stomped me, right? And honestly, right now, this guy would be amazing to get. And you know what we could do? I got an idea. Nope. All right, let's just go with that. We got to warm up. I would love to get this moose. Come on, little fire. Yes, come this way. I'm going to cook myself and then I'm going to cook you. Watch, I'll find out I can't actually get up here. There we go. Now do we wait? Got 
Got a moose, got a moose. Will you do the fandango? We let's not wait. I did not expect that. Um, okay, I don't have any smellies. That was, that was lucky. All right, let's, uh, 22 should be better with a knife. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll throw some meat on the fire. We'll warm up. Uh, oh no, don't do this to me now. Damn, I'm freezing. I'm thinking about like just harvesting from this fire or sorry harvesting and cooking from this fire um which is better let's take you give us a little bit and that is 55 and 2 Going 10. I, I, this might be crazy. But my fire is a far ways away. I can barely walk with this much gear. No, we can't run. Well, luckily, the fire's still going. Do that. That's an hour. That's an hour fifty-two. Okay, you're still better with the knife. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. It's only minus ten. It's not that bad. What was the wind? The wind is minus nine, so that's not bad either. Oh, so cold. Do that. You can go there. You can go there. See, now I wish I had all those teas. Yeah, moose bag's just one, one hide. This guy's getting frozen. 
No, it's an outdoor fire. That fire will be good. But what I'm gonna do? Do I? If I don't warm him up. Let's drop all that here. I'll take you. Drop you. Um. I'm gonna pick all this meat up and bring it I'm over to the moose. This load for much longer. We can make a fire now over by the moose. Then we don't have to keep running back and forth. I think. The weather almost, it, I mean, it's a little bit warmer than it was. It's so cold. All right. I just want to lay down for a bit. Do we have a wind block anywhere? Maybe. Maybe on this side? Eh, whatever. You know what? Let's go right there. And do that. Come on, little fire. Let's just do that. Oh no, it's uh. this. Don't pick up, don't pick up, don't pick up. Don't blow my fire out. Don't blow it out. Okay, we gotta get the hide. I need to hide in the guts. I need to hide in the guts. Right, 37. Alright, I guess it's four guts at a time. You're cooked. Sure, I can carry much more. Uh, six, I guess. Look at that, it's almost nighttime, too. And there goes the fire. Do that, do that, and we only have two guts left. And, all right, we still have, okay, we need the cooked meat and we need all the guts. Uh, we can come back for the raw meat. But actually, minus six, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this meat first because I know there's that one piece I ate some of. 
and I will eat that one entirely first. We have surprisingly oh, only two bars of scent. Barely walk with this much gear. All right, uh, where's partial? Right there. Get that all down. Um, you know what? Fill ourselves right up. We need the we need the weight capacity. All right, let's go. We'll be back for the rest of you. Well, that was lucky. Uh, how's our cooking coming now? Look at that. That was lucky coming in, one-shotting that guy. Uh, I think the luckiest part is this weather. I thought when it blew the fire out, I thought, okay, yeah, we're going to get a blizzard. But it actually cleared up nicely. I think there's Aurora tonight. Feels like that's what's coming. Yeah, I totally want the, now I really want the sled. believe how long we we went without having one before but now that we have one I can't wait to build one each time primarily for that right you get a moose or you get a bear we're going old school right now by by hoofing a moose all the way up to our cabin the way it used to be done thing is too I think we're a ways off from getting a traveler we have enough deer hides we have enough guts. We don't have enough maple saplings. stay there for now uh, I gotta take that hunting knife what are you at you're 85 what's ours 80 whatever you can stay see what else we got we got a fishing book nice that yeah, I'm gonna this ski jacket great. Actually, let's just pick it up. Matches. Uh, you can go over there. This pack is getting too heavy. Scrawled to message. Coach had to go and marinate twenty pork chops. A 
That's a hint. Now I want pork chops. I haven't had pork chops. Honestly, I haven't had pork chops in like probably 30 years. That's not how I get my pork intake these days. Basically the entire time I've been with my wife. I think the, the only time I ever had pork chops in my life was when my mom made them. And she's been gone since 95. <laughs> Yeah. I miss pork chops. All right. Uh, what are we going to do here? Um, are we going to be... We're going to do this. Let's just throw all that in there. Or, you know what? Yeah. We got this. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Let's go two more hours. What the hell? Get the fishing book out of the way. There we go. Hey, we got ice fishing too. I'm going to need to rest soon. Um, our clothing is at 22. We should be fine. Should be fine. Crush fingers. Your bonus is plus five. Hey, you know how cool it would be? Like, why? Why, why wasn't... I can put clothing on the bed, but I can't put my bedroll. You're six. Let's do that. I right, wake up. There we go. Eat up a little bit. What do we got? We are overweight. So we got to drop some weight and go get. All right. Oh, damn it. I didn't put the guts or the hide down. Um, yeah, what the hell? We'll use the hatchet. All right. Now what is our weight? 36. Um, I don't know. Let's throw you there for now. I don't know how much meat is still at the moose. So we're down to 32. I can throw you guys on there. Uh... We don't need that. Oh, we have the extra hacksaw too. I'm just, you know what? I'm going to throw the bow in there too. Let's try and lighten ourselves up as much as possible. Um, you can go in. When we come back, we're probably just going to grab the whole lot. Throw you guys. I'm gonna throw you. Alright. What's our weight now? We're at 20. We should be able to grab the rest of that moose and come back. Drop some coffee. I didn't feel like doing the, the whole, you know, drop. And then, like, how many do you want to drop? I just didn't feel like it.
All right. Little bunny bunny. Is there going to be any birch bark around here? There should be. There's one. There's two. Alright, we got at least one cup. see any there I don't want to be out here too much longer oh we might have to make two trips nope one trip it is let's go thank you mr. moose thanks for being where you were this much gear oh another piece all right we'll take it Whew. sure getting cold we're only at 48 See now with the with the moose bag and with the uh, technical backpack, we're barely overweight. It's too cold. I think. I think I'm gonna change my mind. Like, okay, we got we got we we came here, right? Um. Initially, I said um, we're gonna open up all the containers and then we'll go to Ash Canyon. I don't know if I want to do that. I think I just want to go to Ash Canyon now. I want to get the backpack because even opening the containers, that's a lot of weight in those containers. I think it'll just be easier if we can at least get the backpack. Oh, damn. I forgot. I dropped my bow. Oh, man. Could that have almost gone worse? Wow. I dropped the bow thinking I have the gun on me anyways, and then I forgot that I dropped the bow. Oh well, it worked out. Let's get inside. Close the door. Um, actually, hmm. I would rather cook this meat outside, is what I would rather do. That's what I would rather do. Oh, there's a wolf real close. Damn, I'm freezing. Let's do that. Um, there we go. I don't have a lot of wood. Come on, just, fire. I mean, I guess we have a lot of cedar inside. All 
All right, I put you away. Um, let's go with the coal. I'm gonna have to move to you. I don't know. Can you get a fire placed right there? Is it possible? I'm gonna take you. And actually, I'm gonna take you. It's a little lopsided. Don't walk into the fire. I would love if I can get a fire right there. I don't think you can. I'm not I'm not gonna adjust it because my my settings are all what they always were. Uh, I don't know why it's louder than it used to be. Uh, what do we got in here? We got you. Twenty nine minutes. Fire is gonna go for a while.
where it's at. Okay. Uh, 14 minutes. Let's do that. Uh, let's make sure. I think that fire won't get blowing out. There we go. Storm has passed. Um, let's eat one of these. Was that louder than normal or what? Like, I don't know. Because I'm looking at my OBS settings and all the volumes on there are where they always were. That was louder than normal. Huh. to say I'm at a loss for for why that would be an hour you're 52 let's try and repair this I guess Nerd. You couldn't hear me over the wind. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I, I have no explanation for that because in my audio mixer, those are all where they always were. If you saw what I went through this morning, Copper, I don't remember yesterday. <laughs> I don't remember what you asked yesterday. Right, I need more wood. Uh, I just, I, you know what? I think we're just going to sit here and keep cooking this stuff. How is cooking coming? Uh, we got a ways to go. Uh, that's not going to work. And honestly, I don't want to deplete my cloth. There's nothing in there. I have no more cloth at all. All right. So you're 44. Here they are. Well, I guess we're just going to forward it. 27. I don't know if that's long enough. I'm not quite sure. I wish this was flatter out here so I could spread these out and more easily see what we have. Come on. All right. We have four more hours of cooking. 
basically five. Oh, it didn't cook all the way. Son of a bugger. Oh, well. There it stays. I know I should go out and grab my pots. I know I should. Oh, man. You know what? Let's just continue cooking. You're 80. 80 is close enough to 85. This is that whole fire uh, indoors versus outdoors, right? Like, come on, little fire. Oh. All right, let's try with those matches. Come on, little fire. Who the hell is Alfred E. Newman? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. And we have that bug again. Still, I mean. Not again. Still. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, my God. Fix your game. How long does a bug have to be in operation before you think maybe you should fix it? Alright, you should be okay. time is it there's nothing in there I, do i want to just use sticks <laughs> sorry copper that was uh normally i mute myself when i'm gonna do that but my morning has been like you know one of my mer wor worst mornings that i can remember in recent times. Is that cooked? Alright. There's a prime example right there of why I do not like to try to speed up anything that's at one minute. Because you never know. You might start eating or drinking. It would be like seriously like this is how long has this been a thing i threw away a perfectly good torch into the fire because of a bug that's been in its existence for like 17 years I'm just staying up the whole night cooking. I don't care. I don't care. All right, the last two pieces of meat. drink up. Now I need water. Alright, 50 minutes and 23. Obviously that's who knows what time I need on here. Oh, I was actually out of sticks now. So 39 and 47. I'm not trusting it. I don't know. Ah, for the love of... For the love of wrath! There we go. The moose is cooked. Uh, 
I'm going to keep those pots. And yes, I, sh I don't have any water. Now I got to make water. So we're going to be up probably the entire night. I should have put water in there. Uh, I'm doing two liters. I don't care. I really don't care about anything right now. I'm in the mood. 115. I need longer than that. Goodbye, other piece of cedar. And I have meat on me, don't I? I don't want to get jumped here. Alright, 48. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. Yeah, how does our cooking... Getting a bit thirsty. There's, there's where our cooking is. Harvesting's coming too. Um, well... I think let's end this here. So... For those of you on YouTube who are watching, I thank you. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I will see you all tomorrow.